Hello friends, welcome to my tutorial introduction. I will teach you on how to uh, configure the DOS policy or uh, the near DOS service. So we create uh, this policy in order to prevent from any attack which cause our firewall down. Okay, so uh, to configure this, first uh, I need to go to like a policy and object IP for DOS policy and then you can uh, Create the policies over here. Okay. Okay. Let's say I overview a bit. When you want to check the DDoS effect, you go to the log report and anomaly. This one, if you have configured, it will be show here. While if you don't have a configure, it doesn't show any here. So when the attacker they try to attack into your network or into your firewall, you don't know. And that will be cause your firewall. Uh, down down time okay so now i go to configure it you just create new i will put those hack uh, those monitoring okay and then incoming incoming from outside so i will choose when source address i will choose all okay so any source that attach to my firewall or my network no care and destination, destination, you can also specify your uh, public IP or your firewall IP or your LAN IP or your system IP. So this one, I will choose all. But if you want to specify here, you can also specify like your earth adjust uh, set. So this, I will choose all. Okay. And then he is norm normalized. So you can, I will, this one, I will be enable all and action. Whether you can choose the monitor or block, it depends. So for me, I will choose block all. You can also like, if you don't want to block any uh, thing over here, you can uh, go for more detail. Okay. You can also see what is the TCP destination section, what is the UDP scan. So you can choose whether you monitor or you block. Okay. And here is the uh, thread hole. If it reach 5000 or 5k seat hole, it will be blocked. Okay, so this one will be blocked on. Click OK. Okay, so now our policy has been created. Okay, let I go to, to my log report. And normally it doesn't have anything. Okay, and also the status on my performance, it seems very normal. Let's say I have uh, the attack machine. Okay, now I go to my attack machine. Okay, in my Kali. It's gonna try to log into another machine, Kali Linux, to attack uh, this firewall. And I will use a command here. The command you can also see my in my below uh, description of my video. Okay, I don't want to write because I have plot S. Okay, we, I will use club. Okay, now let's ping. I want to see the. Okay. So this one is just the, my machine. I want if you have uh, like the idea of Kali Linux, so you can uh, know how to do it. I will, I will be logged into my root. Do so. Okay, and my Kali. Okay, then I try to ping to my IP address of my firewall first. Okay, 50.81, whether it can be reached. Okay, now it can be reached when I ping. Now I will use one command. This this command is flat command, everyone. Okay, this one is force the firewall uh, get a lot of ping from our uh, attack, attack computer. Okay. Okay, this one I will change to B. Okay, after this, I try to do to do only one, and then I go to check anonymity. Okay, you see, when I try to do some scanning, it will be show here. You see, I just scan, and it also have the the session. You can also go detail over here. You see, here's the source IP address. Okay, that has ping and the status of this 
uh, uh, attack whether it is critical or it is normal it will be shown over here okay you can also see over here detail okay you see so it will be give us the status and all the detail and if you want to show it over here you can also choose um, uh, this one setting you want to see what or you just want to see the street level or seat score okay so this one it is easy for you to track and report to your management and what is the source whether the attacker they came from asia they came from united states or they came from any europe you can also click over here okay so i just put over here so it you can also scroll here 